mistakes must be shared so that we can learn from them. Welcome to a new video. So we are back from Austria and we've been flying there a little bit at Bischling and, I, and I've made a big mistake. So basically it's about being negligent. I've been flying my blackout now for one year and three months and I've ne never done a checkup on it and I've been learning now the infinity tumblings and all those high G maneuvers and it's really abrasive for, for your glider especially for your brake line especially if you have metal on line like this it's like a D twist mechanism the un untwist mechanism and it's important to check on it every once in a while because by braking a lot and doing maneuvers uh, it's very common that the line uh, that the line starts to unwrap the sheet and, and the metal part starts to eat the line and it's a matter of time until the line rips so I've been doing the tumbling and after that I did a connection to a joker to the left and as soon as I pulled it the line ripped off my brake I was with my toggle in my hand and uh, the line flew away yeah so from this point on I was in trouble <laughs> fortunately that day I calculated the box so what is the box the box is the place where we practice if we crash that we have the chance to crash on a safe spot uh, yes so I calculated the box quite well and from top to bottom as the brake ripped off until the point of crashing I had 20 seconds 21 seconds or something like that as soon as I saw that I lost my brake, I immediately uh, went into an auto rotation uh, similar to a helicopter configuration. And that was my luck because the, the, the descent rate was not as high. It gave me time to to think and to try to solve the problem but uh, it wasn't enough unfortunately the gravat was so big that even by stalling it it didn't solve and I went immediately to my D risers and tried stalling the wing uh, there I have something to to share with you because it's actually when you lose your brake and you still have one brake in your hand use it don't don't give up on your working brake because <laughs> the brake is much more efficient than the D riser so use it so I gave up on my brake and tried to use the D-risers 
and that was not a good idea it didn't help much and uh, I checked my altitude a few times and as I saw that I was like uh, maybe 100 meters over ground or less maybe I I decided to throw the reserve and there goes another point uh, because we were traveling and we had to be really light I didn't have a second reserve that was another mistake uh, don't care about weight use two reserves and okay the other mistake was to put my hand inside the toggle it was inside the toggle like this so as I tried to to release the brake I couldn't as I was using also gloves really big winter gloves and I recommend to you to never ever use your hands inside the brake toggles because it's really not necessary and it's better that your brake slip away and you catch it again than to have to throw the reserve and you can't go out of the toggle and with this with this in mind I lost a lot of time a lot of precious time trying to throw the reserve the other problem is as I gave up on my break uh, I didn't break the auto rotation to have a higher descent rate and have a, a more efficient uh, reserve pro and that was one of my dooms also uh, the other thing is U-turn is amazing to build uh, the stubby the stubby system it's like it's like a, a small it's a small shackle that goes around the stubby line and helps to find the stubby in case of a gravat. Uh, it's quite turbulent right now. <laughs> so I didn't even think about using it. It would be better to have tried to use it. Maybe it would have solved my problem if I had brake the side that was still open and tried to pull on my stubby on the left side yeah I had thrown the reserve but unfortunately my descent rate was too slow to help open the reserve and it was flagging around I had also uh, the tendency of uh, folding my reserve as perfectly as I can but in reality it's not really efficient to have it perfectly folded it's better to have it a little bit messy so that it, when you throw your reserve it helps open it a lot faster I show you a video of what I mean so the day I crashed Dominic, a local teacher gave me some valuable tips on how to repack my reserve parachute basically you do all the normal procedure and fold it normally and put it inside the container as usually and now here comes the part that is a little bit different carefully make a mess out of the leading edge so that when you throw the reserve it opens a little bit faster and the rest is normal Thank you again, Dominic, for giving me this tip. So my descent rate was really slow. And yes, I pulled on the reserve 
to maybe help it open but in my case it only made it worse I pulled the reserve into my lines and the reserve was ineffective. I had a lot of luck that in my case the the reserve fell into the right side of my lines which was my side that was still open it kind of break the the flying side and helped me stopping the auto rotation <laughs> really funny because the reserve pulled on my brake <laughs> my helping angels uh, had mercy of me uh, it helped stopping my auto rotation and by that I was really lucky that I was flying kind of down the mountain and as I crashed I didn't have a lot of impact So those are a few things that I learned on uh, on this experience and the other thing is that I have to be really grateful that uh, God gives me the opportunity to survive such event and gives me the opportunity to share it with you so that you can learn from my mistakes I'm really grateful for God, for all the people that helped me in Austria, the paragliding school at Werfen, at Bischling. Uh, Dominic was really helpful. Shout out to Dominic. Thank you for all the tips. Thank you for helping me. And thank you guys for supporting me and all the paragliding community. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that we all can learn from the mistakes and don't be afraid to share your mistakes and let's analyze it and help the community grow and prevent uh, those accidents. So God bless, see you later. Ew.